Hey guys, it's Steven again from Team Scrub Out doing another deck profile. And this time doing my favorite deck, Infernoid. So let's get into it. Uh, two and Unsu, two Divinity. I mean, it's pretty standard because we're not playing 60 anymore, so we don't want more for anything really. And yeah, always want to have multiple in case we can get rid of them. Two Atondo, two Sidemus. One Sajeti for mediums. Tondel just because it's really good for Imagination OTK. We want names. Sajeti for Imagination. Two Petrulia. Two Harmadic. So we're not playing any Inferno Reddit more than two except Decatron. These are popping. And because we're going second <coughs> most of the time. Then three Decatron because it's the best feast and it becomes anything. And it's the one Inferno Reddit that. A, you can normal summon, and B, actually generates advantage inherently. Then next, Gamma, Garnet, because one, we're playing Reasoning Monster Gates, so we don't want a ton of. Then cards that can be hit off of it in hand traps, and because Gamma protects us from Ash, and is better going first than called by. Also, it's a three, and the free Omega is nice. Three Droll because it's good against everything but Altergeist. Then Lair because it pretty much Infernoid always moves around with whatever engine is best. Be it just 60 card grass, reasoning back in the day, zoo, whatever. So, three Arima to search our Lair. A Diablos, he's good just because a lot of decks it's really difficult to out him. Especially something like Striker. It's why they'll play it themselves sometimes. At least they used to. I don't know too much now. I don't pay attention to their list. I don't care. Yeah, well, it's not the easiest thing to get out. When you do, it's really good. Also, you can hit it off of Reasoning Your Monster Gate and nobody's going to call it level. Then, three layer, obviously. We just play Arima and layer at three because you pretty much always want to see it. It's good to go in second. It's also easy to set out, so it's not like... We're stuck into it. Then our th good three one of spells. Reasoning and Monster Gate, it's obvious reasoning. But just both of them because they easily put noids in the grave. Monster Gate, you can treat stuff off with layer. Card destruction's good just because if we're trying to get into imagination for OTKs, that helps. And also if you're just pitching a bunch of infernoids, who cares? Then void cards, three imagination. Three Vanishment, because Imagination OTK, good against everything but Altergeist, see that a lot, and Vanishment to search it. Then two Feasts, you might be able to cut it to one to get to 40, because we're playing 41, but it's fine. Don't want three, because we're typically blinding second. But for one, you just don't want to hit it off of like Reasoning and then not have them, if you don't just win. Okay, then Extra Deck. Three entity, obviously, send it off imagination. Helps with the OTKs. Two Terra, just because we can. Our extra deck space really, really isn't limited when you're not playing any engines that need extra deck. It also means you can do imagination twice if that comes up. Mermaid, to get rid of the Ibly. Also, if you just need to take like a Cerberus or something and make it point down for whatever reason. Or just say lower something on their field's attack, then have annoyed. Like it's really, it's just whatever. Uh, Ink Spire, get rid of layer tokens, and because they're level three, we cannot use uh, thingy. Also with Mermaid, you can just—it's a nice way to like if you wanted to co-link with the Cerberus or something. I don't know. It's. It, Mermaid's not really important again, it's just a matter of if we have the space, so why not? <coughs> Underclock. Pretty much the great thing about Lynx for Infernoids, they I kind of ironically help them is their free ways to clear levels. And Underclock does that in helping get since you can just get rid of anything except tokens, which is why we have spider. Also, if you're under layer and can't use Chimera, then that's a good way to try to do the OTK anyway. Then Chimera, because again the OCK, and because we're using mostly fire monsters. 
Phoenix Cerberus. I just don't have a unicorn else I'd play it. This is the other one for spot removal. Decode, summon Sork. Honestly, because why not? In theory, you could summon Sork, get rid of three fiends because. Unless I'm insane. Let me check. Yeah, Rima's a fiend as well. So if you need to, like, clear Decatrons, you could possibly use it. It's honestly never come up. It's not even that great. Doesn't matter. Borload, because it outs stuff and clears levels. And Omega, because we're playing Gamma. Then, side. So this is all the stuff for going second. You can put in one going first. It's just mostly for extra going second. Do Gamma Seal. Get rid of stuff we don't want to have to out. Free Veiler because more hand traps are good. I don't have impermanence because I'm not made of freaking money. It's also nice just because it's another monster if you need it to normal into like a link. And my favorite, three twin, because no even lease. And just because since you're pitching noids it's actually not all bad. And since it can be really good even against Alter I say going first, just because you're like spoofing or whatever in chain to them activating it and now it's really hurting them because if what you're discarding isn't a real cost and they had to shuffle stuff and they're losing two cards you probably just win two shared ride for strikers three anti spell and this is all the going first then a feast and a warning just so you're more likely to see say like double feast because that's really good or even if you only see two feasts you can just feast a feast or like feast vanishment for a ton of the gates warning free negate any spell because it screws with striker and anything else that depends on spells and shared ride obviously so that's the list the one thing i just wanted to show very quickly is how you pull off the imagination otk i was talking about a lot so the easiest way to do it is if you have say imagination and decatron if your opponent has any monster you can use it off of let's just say it doesn't really matter so let's just say they have this, this summon sword for some reason you just normal summon the Decatron, send a Deviety, so long as, I mean, as long as the other one isn't in Grave or Banished or anything, it's fine. You could also send the Amnonsu. We just want the protection to make sure Imagination goes through. Activate Imagination, send your six Noids, summon Terra, then Terra sends a combination of the other Terra, Elder Entities, and Omega, because Entities pop. Terra if you need a name, and Omega if you want to shuffle something from a grave, either of your own or the opponents that you don't want to deal with. Then you just get rid of these two, make Chimera, and Summon Sword's probably popped. Then you just use whatever you have left to banish, and if you can, you leave them with a monster that's really weak, so you have Edendale for extra damage. Then... Normally, Deviety, if they had any back room, you blow out. And that's easy to kill them. Because even if they don't have a monster, that's 34, 33, and 19, which is game. So, yeah. That's uh, Layer Infernoids. So, like, subscribe, and as Sebastian would say, have a nice day.